Chances are you've heard of a little game that's been going around called Dark and Darker, and it's doing pretty well. So here are five reasons why Dark and Darker is the next big thing. We all know that in today's world, the success of games is becoming largely dependent on how popular they are as secondhand content. I'm talking about YouTube videos, clips, and live streams. These are all passive ways that the game is being consumed by people. So, when you're not playing the game yourself, you can still consume content about it. This pervasive nature means that you end up thinking about it and talking about it more. Instead of forgetting about the game a week later, you end up talking about it with your friend, sharing clips, or recommending new creators to watch. So, when a game gives creators the tools to make something that's engaging or funny, those games tend to do very well. I think Dark and Darker is both visually pleasing and full of suspense. Some games just aren't visually appealing. I'm looking at you, Escape from Tarkov. But Dark and Darker is a moody, atmospheric dungeon where the lighting is everything. I mean, it's in the name. There are scary monsters, fireballs, and glowing potions that attract your eyes and keep you watching. And the visuals are only half of it. I've watched a lot of Dark and Darker being streamed, and every single match is edge of your seat action from start to finish. The PvP fights may look kind of silly to people that haven't played it yet, but once you've played a bit, you'll see how every movement and every choice is important. Everything leads to victory or death. And even when you're not fighting players, the monsters in the dungeon will keep you on your toes, leading to wild chases with hordes of mummies thirsty for your blood. And things only get worse the deeper in the dungeon you go. One of the most amazing things to me as a streamer is that even though the game is still in pre-alpha, they already have a spectate mode. Even if you die or extract before your teammates, you can automatically view from their perspective and stay in the action. I cannot overstate how amazing it is to have such an essential feature so early on in development. I just want to start with a quote from the devs about us section on their website. And I quote, We are a merry band of veteran game developers disillusioned by the exploitative and greedy practices we once helped create. We've seen firsthand how corporate game companies sell their soul for the easy payday. We are disappointed to see them doubling down on more and more exploitative practices, becoming more like casinos instead of bringing joy to gamers. We're fighting to win back the hearts of gamers around the world. We believe that by creating games with soul and by respecting our users, we can usher in a renaissance of awesome video games direct from Korea. This makes me so happy to hear. I truly believe that honest, hardworking people like this deserve our support and will make an example to the rest of the industry that we, the gamers, want games with soul and not some reskinned buggy COD game every year. Obviously, we'll keep an eye on the situation, but it looks very promising that these devs have what it takes to make an amazing game. One of Dark and Darker's strengths is the fact that no matter how many times you die, you can always roll in with the starting kit for each class. Now, although you'll be at a distinct disadvantage to someone who spent hundreds of hours dungeoning to make a high tier loadout, however, you still pose a very real threat, especially when you use strategy and stealth to your advantage. Another huge plus for me is the full transparency of the class system. Yes, it sucks when you find a juicy weapon or armor piece that isn't for your class, but the fact that you can easily identify what gear you can use makes it very simple to just drop in the dungeon and improve your kit as you go. Each class, with maybe the exception of the wizard, is fairly easy to pick up and start playing with, which is quite inviting to new players. But mastering the nuances of one class can take many hours, providing a ton of replayability. And even if you master one class, there are still five more to learn. There is nothing like the shot of adrenaline you get when playing a life or death game like Dark and Darker. The thrill of knowing you'll lose everything if you make a mistake, and gain everything if you play your cards right, no other genre of game quite does it for me anymore. And maybe that's just me getting deeper and deeper into the adrenaline junkie gamer rabbit hole, but I truly believe that this type of game will take root and become a staple genre. Battle Royales and classical tactical shooters like CSGO definitely have their place, but unless you're a sweaty esports enjoyer, dare I say, I think you'll have more fun playing a game like Dark and Darker. The VoIP feature alone is a recipe for some of the best laughs you've had in ages. And if you're worried about it not being high skill, don't worry. It still has a ton of tactical design elements 
requires split-second decision-making and precision aiming. Dark and Darker has so much potential. Honestly, part of the reason why I'm so excited about the game isn't actually because of what it looks like right now. It's because of where I can see the game going. Over the course of the last couple playtests that I've been following the game, the developers have made huge improvements to the game. They've added new content, new mobs, mechanics, quality of life features, and they continue to listen to the community feedback and implement things according to their vision that they think will make the game better. And on top of the amazing job that the development team is doing, there is literally unlimited potential and creativity that they can pull from the Dungeons & Dragons world. Fantasy worlds are limitless, and I can't wait to see all the interesting and compelling things that they add to the game in the future. I, for one, will be keeping my eye on this game as the good people at Iron Mace work to release it. If you haven't played and would like to give the game a go, you can go to Steam and download the demo and start playing. This current playtest will go from February 6th to the 13th. And if you'd like to help support the channel, then do consider subscribing and leaving a spicy comment about what you're most interested in seeing more of for Dark and Darker. Until next time, cheers.